Alright guys, welcome back to another awesome art tutorial and in this video, I want to talk to you guys about lists. Now what a list is, is it's kind of similar to a vector but in my opinion, even cooler. Because with vectors, we can store data of the same type. So this is all numerical data, this is all numerical data, this vector has just all text in it. However, with a list, we can mix things up a bit. So we can create a list that stores text and numbers and you want to know something else we can even store things like data frames in the list and if you want to get real crazy listen to this you can even store another list inside another list so lists within a list list section as I call it but no one else calls it that so don't do that so let's go ahead and create one right now now instead of naming X I'm gonna go ahead and name it Bucky's list now how do you create a list? Well, the keyword to do that, of course, is list. Go figure, who would have thought? So let's go ahead and throw a bunch of things in here. So maybe, I don't know, a number, 71, um, a word, bacon, of course. Now we can even store vectors inside here. So let's store some stupid vector, one through five. Maybe we want to throw another word in there, tuna. and. As promised, like I said, we can actually take an entire data frame and store those inside a list as well. Pretty freaking sweet. And anytime you want to see your list, just type out the name of it, Bucky's List. And actually, what I'm going to be doing a lot is if you hold Control A on your keyboard, then just hit Control Enter, it runs the entire program. So if you guys don't see me hit this Run button, that's what I'm doing. All right, so as you can see, our Bucky's list is made up of five different elements, a number, a word, a vector, another word, and an entire freaking data frame. Pretty freaking awesome if you, okay, did not want to do that. Pretty awesome if you ask me. However, whenever you have a list, sometimes it can be confusing to access the individual elements because of the fact that it can store different types of data. So I'm going to show you guys something cool. If you ever want to name the different elements in here so you can access them a little bit easier, what you can do is you can do something like this. Use the names function and this says, okay, what are you naming? Well, we're naming the elements in Bucky's list. So now what we have to do is we need to give it a vector of names. So the first one we can say is my fave, um, I don't know, which is my fave num, my favorite number, even though 71 is not my favorite number. Um, the second one would be like my fave food, which is bacon. Uh, the third one would be fave vector. I guess, you know, if some people prefer some vectors over another one, I don't freaking know. Now this one, tuna could be like a good food. And um, this last one could be like my favorite data since you know it's my favorite data frame I don't freaking know but say you're making a database and you want to be able to access these things easier that's what you can do so now whenever you run this each of these items in this list now has a corresponding name that can make things a lot easier now of course to access an individual item you type the name of your list which is Bucky's list and anytime you're accessing an item from your list or element, what you can do is you use the double brackets, double square brackets, and then the name of the element. So we say in Bucky's list, get his fave food. Okay, let me just run this. And as you can see, it makes everything and it says Bucky's list, his favorite food is bacon, which is true, can't argue with that. Now. Another cool thing I want to mention is that whenever you return an item in your list, you can treat it just as that item. What the heck am I talking about? So say that you returned um, this data frame right here, which is of course, actually let me change that to lowercase f. So what this does right here is it returns this entire data frame up here. Now once we return it, we can treat it just as any other data frame. And that includes things like getting one column from it. So we return 
this data frame and then we say give me the age column so whenever we do that we run all this it says this is the data frame that you return and this is the age column right there pretty stinking awesome so actually I think I got time to show you guys one last thing keep that name clear everything out tighten this up a bit that's what she said so let's say that we want to add another element to our list well we could just go ahead and do it right here but I want to show you guys how to do this programmatically so the first thing I want to do is just to get the length of this and of course this is gonna return one two three four five so this is gonna return five right here so say that we wanted to add maybe what piece of information do I want to add maybe my sister's name or something since it's my list well what we can do is we can type Bucky's list and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add another piece of information called sister's name now of course we're gonna set this equal to my sister's name which is Hannah and now what we can do is just actually let's just go ahead and print this entire thing out to make sure it worked and then we'll return the length of it again so let me go ahead and run this make sure I didn't fudge anything up alright looking good so basically what we did let me scroll all the way to the top did I clear that alright so we created our original Bucky's list now the original list had a length of five items but then we decided that we wanted to add another item so we did that through here we pretty much say the item name and the value of that item now when we printed it out again we could see that well we do have an item named sister's name and the value of that is Hannah which is my sister's name and the length of your list is now six so again if you ever want to add a new item to your list that's how you do it so as you can see lists are pretty freaking awesome and in the next video we're probably going to be moving on from lists because we covered all the real essential basics right here now and i'm going to be showing you guys something else awesome of course as always so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next time